This is section 51 of Mark Twain's Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Literature by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. Address at the Royal Literary Fund Banquet, London, May 4, 1900. Anthony Hope introduced Mr. Clemens to make the response to the toast, Literature. Mr. Hope has been able to deal adequately with this toast without assistance from me. Still I was born generous. If he had advanced any theories that needed refutation or correction, I would have attended to them. And if he had made any statements stronger than those which he is in the habit of making, I would have dealt with them. In fact, I was surprised at the mildness of his statements. I could not have made such statements if I had preferred to, because to exaggerate is the only way I can approximate to the truth. You cannot have a theory without principles. Principles is another name for prejudices. I have no prejudices in politics, religion, literature, or anything else. I am now on my way to my own country to run for the presidency, because there are not yet enough candidates in the field, and those who have entered are too much hampered by their own principles, which are prejudices. I propose to go there to purify the political atmosphere. I am in favor of everything everybody is in favor of. What you should do is to satisfy the whole nation, not half of it, for then you would only be half a president. There could not be a broader platform than mine. I am in favor of anything and everything, of temperance and intemperance, morality and qualified immorality, gold standard and free silver. I have tried all sorts of things, and that is why I want to try the great position of ruler of a country. I have been in turn reporter, editor, publisher, author, lawyer, burglar. I have worked my way up, and wish to continue to do so. I read today in a magazine article that Christendom issued last year 55,000 new books. Consider what that means. 55,000 new books meant 54,000 new authors. We are going to have them all on our hands to take care of sooner or later. Therefore, double your subscriptions to the Literary Fund. End of Literature by Mark Twain Read by John Greenman